In this video, we're going to address how long a private investigator can follow you after you file the workers' compensation claim in California. My name is Matt Easton. I've been practicing employment and workers' compensation rights here in Sacramento for over 25 years, and it's not uncommon for our clients to have anxiety or fears that someone is following them as it relates to their claim. More importantly, we're going to talk about why they're following you and what's likely to happen and what you should be concerned or not concerned about. The short and unfortunate answer as to how long they can follow you is the entire time. The reality of that is that they're not going to. There are certain types of cases that lend itself to being followed, and there are certain junctures in the case that most of the time you would be followed versus not be followed. For starters, to follow somebody in a workers' compensation case costs a significant amount of money. Private investigators are not cheap. So if they're going to investigate you, there has to be a basis for them to be willing to spend that money. If you suffered a clear on-the-job injury, and everybody knows that you're hurt, there is no likelihood that they're going to really try and follow you. For example, if you had a fall at a construction site and you broke your leg at the site, you were taken by ambulance to the hospital, you had surgery at the hospital, there's no real reason to be concerned that they're going to be following you for a period of time. That injury happened. People saw it. The fact that you went to the hospital proves that you're injured. The fact that you had surgery on the leg proves that you're injured. So there's no real anxiety or reason to pay money to follow you for that injury. In the alternative, if you have the type of injury that nobody saw it occur, no one really knows for sure if you're injured, the doctors seem to be somewhat conflicted about what your limitations are, well then that you are right to be followed because they want to try and find some evidence of are you actually hurt or are you exaggerating your injuries. For example, the warehouse worker that claims it can no longer lift anything over 20 pounds, but yet did not have a specific injury happen to them that anyone witnessed, and the doctors upon examination are finding only soft tissue type injuries, there's probably a legitimate concern that you would be followed in hopes that they will see you doing something that you should not be doing. Likewise, to go back to the prior person that broke their leg and had the surgery, if you were to fast forward past a normal recovery time for that, and that person is claiming they can't walk, there's no medical evidence to really support that other than subjective complaints, which you should expect that they're going to have someone follow you to try and catch you in the act of doing something you said you could not do. The point of it all really boils down to you should not have any anxiety about being followed if your claims are clear and obvious. To look at it another way, in the simplest of terms, if it's clear that you were injured on the job and it's clear that you suffered an injury based on medical imaging, medical diagnosis, then the chances of you being followed are very small. In contrast, if there's a dispute that whether or not you were actually ever injured, or more likely that your injuries are as significant as you say they are, and the evidence really isn't supporting you, it's only your subjective testimony, then there's a much greater chance that they are going to follow you. The length of time they follow you really depends on the size of your case, other factors of whether or not they were having success in catching you in the act of doing things you should not do, things like that. In short, if you've got clear evidence of an injury and clear evidence of ongoing problems from objective films and objective reports, then you really should not have any serious anxiety about being followed. Your injuries are substantiated. In contrast, if there is a real concern of you ever being hurt on the job at all, and more importantly, there's a concern that your injuries are being inflated and you're making things up, then there is a greater chance you're going to be followed. The point of it all is be truthful in your workers' compensation case, be upfront, be frank, and you shouldn't have any anxiety about what they see or don't see because you're telling the truth. If you've been injured on the job and you're having anxiety issues about someone following you and wanting to know if it's appropriate or not, and when will it end or how do you get it to end, we hope you'll consider reaching out to one of the attorneys at Easton and Tamini. My name again is Matt Easton. Our address is 1234H Street, Sacramento, California. 95814. Our phone number is 916-438-1819. You can find us on the web at www.capstudylaw.com.